Hey, what's up? It's Calvin from Spacebugs Animation. Um, uh, welcome. And in this video, I'm going to show you guys how I made this simple animation um, using Character Creator 4, to be specific. Um, it was real, really quick. It took me like roughly an hour or less. So I'm going to show you guys how I did it and it's going to be a two-part video. Like part one will go through character creator and the basics and how I created the character. And then part two will go into Blender and Marvelous Designer and all that simulation and everything. So yeah, uh, don't forget to subscribe. Please subscribe, um, leave a like, you know. I'm trying to uh, hit a hundred goals, a hundred subscribers. Yeah, so let's jump into it. So I started by opening Character Creator 4 and study. Like I opened the default project. Like all oh, everything comes pre-installed. Um, so if I may pause a bit, the way Character Creator works is after installing it all the characters you have to install like um, resources where all the characters you find characters props and everything which comes pre like it just you know after installing everything um, it's all in the program I don't know if that makes sense so here I started by opening a default uh, character project called Eddie I think so what I did next is, um, <coughs> excuse me, I had to go to the scene and open up the part which has, um, you know, the props and everything. So I started deleting everything that I don't need because I just needed like a base mesh. I didn't need any clothes and all of that. Um, so the, the thing is, I recorded this video without the voiceover. So I'm just doing the voiceover right now. Um, but but it's real time. It's not a time lapse. It's actually real time. And creating this character took me like twenty minutes. And yeah, it took me like fifteen to twenty minutes just creating the character. So I had to delete what I didn't need. Then I pressed J to zoom into the face or selected a part, something like that. I'm still deleting what I don't need. So my character was naked, I had to look for some clothes. Oh, um, almost forgot to mention. Um, the, I got the I, I used the animation from Mixamo. Uh, Mixamo provides a free like base motion like mo um, motion capture animations. Alright, so um, here I'm using the morph tag to adjust everything I need. I'm just scaling the lips, you know, like scale the lips. Bake, so bake, uh, what bake does is once you use a slider to change what you need and then you press bake, 
the slider goes back to the default like it keeps what you have you have changed and then it goes back to the default which means you can continue adjusting your character after baking does that make sense let me know in the comments below so um i'm just tweaking i'm going to have to f fast forward for this So what I'm basically doing is um, using the sliders to tweak whatever part I need. Then I back, then I continue tweaking. So here I'm trying to mix uh, the stylized character with um, the humanoid, humanoid characters um, just to give it a little bit of, you know, change, something like that. So um, I here I, I went to make some uh, and downloaded an animation. Like make sure I have an account on make some more then download an animation as an FBX. And then all you have to do is get your FBX animation, drag and drop, and wait for it to load. Read if you want, blah blah blah, this, this, that, then convert all, then wait. And boom, there you go, you have your animation. Alright, so what I'm doing here is changing the skin. I want him to be darker. So what I have to do is click on the part you want to change. Skin that you want to change. You can either make right click and adjust. Or you can say launch and then open it with a photo editor of your choice. Whether it's Photoshop or... Gee, my hard drive is full. So I open with Photoshop.
so what you can do is tweak like if you have some issues all you do is edit bond and then click on the bond you want to edit and edit let's say hmm, there you go I can move this a bit I don't know if here so here what I needed to do was move the uh, waist down a bit so that yeah that's what I needed to do probably do that then I'll do that the next time I animate something like this probably never but yeah I'll do that So here you can change the hue and saturation to the preferred color. I have a template that I created for the skin color I prefer. You can copy it if you want for like a brown, like a dark brown, you know, like an African American kind of skin color. It's not that dark, but I think it's something that can work. So I had to change the body the head, the body, the arms and legs I just did the same select control U then select U thing preferred color or you can just fill it with your preferred color then just press control S to save do the same for the other parts Oh, by the way, so what I'm doing here, um, I click on the part I want to change and then I right click and say launch texture and then I just press ctrl U and then boom when I save in Photoshop it automatically updates in character creator 4 So now comes the fat part, exporting the animation, all you do is file export fbx and you can select any of those options and choose the software of your choice. I use blender so I'll go for blender and then I go for current animation, um, if keyframes I choose all blender and I think that's all and then export, uh, choose where you want to save it. I'll call it V2 then save okay um, that's it for part one so um, I, I hope you guys tune in for tune in for the next part part two where we'll be dealing with blender um and marvelous designer it it won't take it will take like 15 minutes or 10 or less um because it will be quick we'll be doing some basic t-shirt and pan sweatpants not, not something really complicated and we won't be doing it from scratch 
um yeah so um what you guys need to do is if you're new here um i'm calvin from spacebugs animation i'm an i'm an animator and character designer that that's really it from like that's that's really it about me and uh, i would really appreciate if you subscribe to my channel i think that's really it but thank you very much for watching thank you to the 50 subscribers hold on oh god there are 50 subscribers right now thank you very much thank you like really thank you all so i'm going to love you and leave you guys um thank you bye bye